Hey everybody, today I want to make a video about T5's Piston Bolt world. This world contains everything that you need in order to build your piston bolt. The most interesting part of this video is probably the link in the video description to the world download. T5 fellow Cyclops member did a great job here. Um, he also yeah, placed on signs everywhere, so all of the concepts are pretty much self-explanatory if you go through the signs. But I want to also go through it in video form a little bit. So there's, yeah, for example, we have starting stations. There are transition stations to go from straight to diagonal. For example, here we can write a complete piston bolt. So here was a transition from straight to straight. And here's a trans transition from straight to diagonal, diagonal to straight and so on. And it also works in every single location. So piston bolts are a bit tricky in case you don't, for example, cancel the Minecraft's movement momentum, then it could happen that sometimes it works in one direction, but it doesn't work in the other, or it's even locational, but the concepts by T5, they are non-directional, non-locational. All right, maybe let's go through it from here. So this would be um, the station for the straight piston bolt. Here is you just hop in the minecart press the button and then you'll be launched and also a new minecart suspended um, for the next player that wants to use it. All right, um, the redstone is quite simple. What's kind of important is that the delay in between the piston activations of the two sides is one game tick. You could actually also use a concept where you would activate both sides the same time, for example, like here and this actually works in some cases, but I found it's more reliable to use the concept where the pistons are you know, activated for one tick in between. All right, so this is actually that simple. You can already see it, how to build it, but you can also check the world download with the minecart on top of the dispenser. With the button, you activate this side here. So in total, we got six ticks of delay before we activate the first piston. And we get the three ticks of delay plus two ticks with the, dispen uh, with the observer, so five ticks in total with the um, piston line on this side. And in order to activate the dispenser, we put a observer under the repeater and another observer detecting the repeater, then we power the block next to the dispenser. And that's the whole station for the straight piston bolt. But of course, multiple ways how we can do that. Uh, so this is just a suggestion. Then we can also take a look at the transitions, um, which we start. So most of the cases, T5 uses a detector rail in order to get the timings. So here we would be pushed um, on top of a power rail. We drive over the detector rail and then we stop the minecart on a block without a rail on top, which is important in order to cancel the minecart's momentum. Then we push the minecart with an end rod on top of a curved rail, and then we just yeah, power the pistons again for game tick of delay in between. So if we look at the redstone. So we power a sticky piston with an observer, which powers this block, which makes it a bit hidden. So the redstone is not that visible. And on the other hand, in order to get the, the uh, uneven game tick delay, we power a sticky piston with a redstone block in front, which powers the um, sticky piston of the observer in order to power the other side. All right, so you can yeah, check this all out in a word, word download. Um, not sure if this works in any console version, so it is a yeah, video about the Java version. All right, then. The transition from uh, straight to diagonal is even simpler since we can power both sides at the same time. This always works. So we would drive over the um, detector rail here. Then we cancel Minecraft's momentum again by placing it on a non-rail uh, block. Then again, push it over with the end rod on top of the first curved rail. And then, then we activate both sides with uh, four redstone ticks of delay. Then we just um, yeah keep activating every second double piston um, for two redstone tick delay in between, uh, two, uh, one redstone tick delay in between. 
All right, so this, those are all the transitions. You can check it out. There's also a straight to straight transition, for example, here. And what we in most cases use in order to um, yeah, get off the minecart is the activator rail here and the soul send in the back. So since this is important to use a soul send here because it's a non full block, it's a bit shorter than a full block. And that's why the minecart can go on top of the power rail here. So in case the minecart is um, less than two blocks above a rail, then it gets uh, automatically put on top of the rail. Um, you could also use, for example, a slab here instead. This would also work. That's also an option. But in most cases, we use the soul sand because it's kind of flush above the floor. Also, this carpet here is important. In some cases, it doesn't work without the carpet. Uh, the minecart would um, yeah, get stuck on the blocks next to the, or actually on the on the iron block. Uh, that's why we have the carpet there in order to kind of cancel the minecart's momentum so it doesn't overshoot the soul sand block. All right, let's put the carpet back. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So yeah, most interesting part of this video, as I said, is in the video description where you can find the world download. It's, there's all signs explaining everything. Thanks a lot for watching, have a nice day, bye bye.